If you don't know me, my name is Tommy and I own a 2017 BMW M3 with a manual transmission. Uh, as you could tell, this is not a manual transmission. I, I am sitting in my friend's 2018 BMW M3 with a dual clutch transmission. And in today's video, I will compare the two vehicles, give you my impressions, just in case you are undecided whether or not manual or dual clutch transmission is the right choice for you when you're buying your uh, BMW M3, M4, or even an M2 competition. Uh, so the dual clutch is a seven speed transmission. The manual is a six speed. Obviously the manual comes with a clutch pedal. The dual clutch does not come with a clutch pedal, but it comes with these uh, beautiful shifters. These are actually aftermarket shifters, uh, but the stock shifters are almost as pretty. So uh, let's put the car in drive and uh, let me give you my impressions of this first and then I'm gonna drive my manual and uh, compare and contrast the two. Let's start off by putting the transmission in automatic and go for a quick cruise on the highway. If you wanna relax and not worry about shifting, uh, you keep the car in drive and it shifts for you. It uh, still shifts, I have to say, in a very sporty way. It's not like your regular automatic transmission where it tries to uh, keep the RPMs as low as possible. This, even though I'm in uh, efficient on my throttle mapping, it still gives you uh, sort of the, uh, the, the aggressive shifting. The transmission is pretty intuitive and even when you slow down fast, just look like I slow down. See? it downshifted to third, anticipating an aggressive maneuver. So it's a very, very smart and intuitive transmission. I quite like it. If I wanna have some fun doing manual shifting, all I have to do is push the transmission to the right or press one of the shifters and it's gonna to switch to a manual mode. And the manual mode, you can just tap the paddle or move the shifter up or down and the gear shift for you. And this is the mode that I really enjoy. It's incredible how fast the shifts are. I've got my transmission in the fastest setting and the shifts are lightning fast. The car feels incredibly quick, a lot quicker than with a manual transmission. You just tap the paddle, bam, and you're cruising in sixth gear. And now you're cruising in seventh. And if you want to be more aggressive and overtake, Double tap, you're in fifth gear. Insanely quick. Driving the car on the highway with my manual transmission or this dual clutch is really not much different. Uh, you're cruising, this one you're cruising in seventh gear and my car you're cruising in sixth, sixth gear. It's pretty straightforward. The only difference is if you want to overtake somebody, it's much quicker because you can just pull the paddle and you're in higher gear and you have your power on tap a lot, a lot faster. And this actually makes the car feel a lot more powerful because the power is there all the time. You're always sort of, you're always in that power band as opposed to sometimes, you know, when you're cruising in a manual transmission car, you're in sixth gear and you kind of wish you want, you could downshift, but you, you're too lazy or, or you thought you had enough power, but you didn't and you got beaten by uh, 335. Yep, we've all been there. I don't think you can get tired of this manual shifting. feels like a video game and I've got to say it's a lot easier to get in trouble with this transmission versus manual because you just tap the, the paddles and the speed comes at you so much faster than with a manual transmission but what about if you want to get off the highway and cruise around town let's uh, give the transmission a try and see if it's any comfortable there's a tunnel coming up So we're driving around town. Uh, there's a bit of traffic coming up. Let's see how the transmission behaves. Uh, all right, so it is a bit jerky. Now, what happens if I switch the transmission to the softest setting? All right, so setting off feels a bit jerky, but nothing too crazy. The shifts, uh, when I put the shifting in the lowest or the slowest setting, are actually not that bad pretty comfortable. 
Imagine releasing the clutch very, very slowly. This is what it feels like. The difference between the slower setting and the more aggressive setting is, just like I was, I was coming to a stop, you're going from third to second, you pull the paddle, and there's about a second uh, delay, uh, or there's a very slow, there's a gradual shift. I guess the, uh, the clutch is engaged and disengage uh, a lot slower, which gives you that, uh, that, that, smoother, that much smoother of a drive. Let's put the car in automatic. Very smooth. And the power is there all the time. So I'm driving in drive automatic and I've got to say it's pretty comfortable. Which brings me to my point. I have a feeling that if I had this transmission, I would be driving it in automatic, not shifting with my paddles all the time and that would get old very quickly at least with a manual transmission car i'm forcing myself to shift manually to constantly uh, move my hand up or down because uh, there's no other way with this one you have the option to put the car in automatic and let it shift for you uh, again great great shifting but will it get boring i don't know that would be my biggest worry about this car I feel like manual transmission fun is more uh, sort of grown-up fun. This is uh, <laughs> more kind of a juvenile fun and and I mean this in, in a very very positive way. It's juvenile fun for all, all ages. You don't have to be a teenager to be able to enjoy this car. You can be 50, 60 and still have fun in this car because I mean how can you not? It's just so much fun. Let's see we're on a hill. Let's see if I let my foot off the brake, will it roll back? Nope. Ah, oh, it rolls back, it rolls back. Okay. Okay, so it does roll back. So it's got hill hold, just like my car, and it also stops. It only holds it for, uh, I think, two or three seconds, and then it releases. No wonder all the reviews online praise this transmission, and everyone talks about how amazing this transmission is paired with this vehicle. And I've gotta say, I kind of agree. But if I were to do it again, would I get a dual clutch or would I still get a manual transmission? I think we have to find out and to do that we have to jump back in my car and do the same loop and talk about impressions driving a manual transmission car. Alright and we're back in my car. Uh, so my car is a six-speed manual transmission. It's a competition pack that produces 444 horsepower. It's uh, slightly more now because I loaded a CS tune, but it's a lot less powerful than the DCT model, which has uh, bigger turbos. Uh, but we're gonna focus on the transmission itself. So we uh, let the brake off and the car is rolling. The beauty of this transmission is, look, you don't even have to press the gas when you uh, when you move. The car accelerates for you. So it's very, I think it's called an anti-stall feature. See? So anyone who's driving this car can learn it pretty easily. This clutch is very easy to operate. Not only does it not require for you to press the gas pedal when you move, but the fact that it offers automatic rev matching uh, makes shifting a lot smoother. I'll demonstrate it in a little bit. But let's just get on the highway. See? Second rev matching. Pretty smooth. Let's explode. Oh, so much power also. Yes, it's a different level of engagement. This does not feel like a video game. This feels like an analog uh, <laughs> raking of leaves outside. You got, you're really involved, you're shifting with this lever that's actually pretty uh, nice and sturdy. The shifts are very direct and once you get it up to speed and you're in sixth gear, you can cruise and uh, the car has plenty of torque in sixth gear to get in between different cars accelerate as you please and again the beauty of the fact that you have automatic rev matching is you can easily 
downshift to fifth, fourth, and be in this optimal range uh, to uh, to have enough power to accelerate or, or do whatever you want. Yes, it takes a bit longer. It's it's slower than uh, than dual clutch, uh, but it's it's a lot more engaging. One thing I do notice a lot of times when I drive on the highway is the fact that it would be nice to have a seventh gear. Now I know why Porsche and uh, Chevy with the Corvette uh, create, a, create a manual transmission that has a seventh gear because when you're on the highway, so I'm doing 60 and I'm at, I'm at about 2200 RPM. For a better on MPG, I feel like it would be a, a lot better to have that seventh gear. You can also put it in uh, efficient throttle mapping and what this does is this closes the exhaust flaps and it makes it for a smoother or a quieter ride and it elongates the, the throttle travel so it gives you a much smoother input. Again, it uh, gives, gives it a bit of a, a more uh, enjoyable ride. Okay, we do have a tunnel here coming up. Ah, this never gets old. How does this manual transmission drive in traffic? Right off the bat, I've got to tell you, I do take this car to the city, the city being Manhattan, and it's pretty enjoyable. Not once did I stall the car, the clutch doesn't feel heavy, and uh, again, the fact that you don't have to hit the gas when you're, uh, when you're moving from standstill makes, uh, makes driving this manual quite, uh, quite easier. As we wait for the light, having a manual transmission makes you a lot more aware of your surroundings. You don't, kind of, uh, you don't get to daydream and think about other things. Actually, a lot of times, 99% of the time, I don't even have the radio on. To be honest with you, I don't even know how to set radio settings because I just uh, I listen to the revs of the engine, I <laughs> listen to the exhaust, and I enjoy shifting shifting this uh, the, this manual transmission. Okay, look, no gas. See, look, you can crawl in traffic. Beautiful, and just like with uh, with the dual clutch. Just like with uh, the dual clutch transmission, when you uh, put it in, uh, put the throttle mapping in efficient, shifting becomes smoother. You can go from third, second. It doesn't feel jerky at all. When you put it in Sport Plus, it does get a bit jerky, but again, it's uh, in my mind, it's good jerky. It's uh, it's sporty jerky. If there's uh, if there's such thing, because of the fact that there's a lot of torque, uh, you can cruise, for example, in fifth gear comfortably. I'm doing 30 miles an hour in fifth gear, and you can cruise and not have to uh, switch gears all the time. So again, this this kind of uh, compromises you having a manual transmission where you have enough torque, so you don't have to shift as much. Driving the two cars back to back, it is like driving two different cars. The dual clutch transmission feels, I have to say, like driving a supercar, especially with the amount of power that the car has and the, how fast the shifting is. It really, really feels like driving a supercar and, uh, and it just makes you feel very, very special. It makes you feel special about the fact that you have something so powerful and so advanced uh, that it just shifts so, so fast for you. Uh, it keeps your, uh, your adrenaline high. Now, with this transmission, even though all the technology here is pretty much the same, it still has that old school feel. Yeah, sometimes you don't get the shift right or you don't give it enough gas and uh, the car jerks a little bit. Uh, you upshift, you downshift at certain levels that the car doesn't do it for you. You feel a lot more connected to the car on a very analog level. And as I'm saying these things, and as I drove the two cars back to back, yes, the dual clutch transmission is probably the better transmission for this car. No doubt about it. The, this car has so much power that to get the most out of that power, you need that dual clutch transmission to get bang, 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 bang. Uh, but if you want to have fun and don't mind sacrificing uh, the sort of the ultimate uh, power band, 
then this transmission is the right transmission for you. And I've got to say, as I was driving the dual clutch, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe my next car is probably going to be a DCT because, again, it's just so much better. The paddles are so much fun. But as I'm driving this, I think this is a lot more fun. For me, at least. This feels more old school. This feels more engaging. This feels like you are really, really connected to the car. You're connected to the, through the transmission to the engine. Uh, you have the third pedal that, that you can use. You don't have a third pedal in, your, in the dual clutch transmission. It's just, uh, just, uh, just a much, much more involved feeling. Uh, and I think, I think I like this one the most. So there you have it. Uh, those are my impressions or comparisons between the dual clutch transmission and a manual transmission. To answer the question from the very beginning, if I were to do it again, would I get a dual clutch or would I still stick with the manual? I have to say that I would stick with the manual. As much as I enjoyed the advancement or the, the fun factor of the dual clutch, this is a, is a lot more engaging uh, transmission one that i enjoy the most maybe if i were to track this car every single weekend uh, i would change my mind i do take this car to the track uh maybe 10 times a year 10 days a year and uh, this transmission is doing uh, just fine but i've spoken to a lot of porsche guys who've switched from manuals to uh to uh pdk and they, they said that they will never go back to manuals because pdks are so much faster you get such better uh, lap times uh, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel and i get it but for someone who dailies the car who drives that car to the train station uh, has fun on weekends and uh and uh, a couple of times a year at the racetrack this transmission is the right transmission for me so let me know what your thoughts are which transmission would you select uh, if you were buying this car or if you're buying uh, any performance car and uh, leave the comments down below uh, and uh, as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye uh, nice someone just gave me a uh Someone just gave me a thumbs up. It's funny, this happens all the time. I got a thumbs up from a Porsche driver, who knew? Okay, one thing about this transmission, putting it in parking. Uh, actually, you know what? I take that back. Not bad at all. <laughs>